This is SAT test 6, calculator question number 10. College Board presents you with a word problem which describes the length of two voyages in two different ways. When you see the same quantities described two different ways, typically that's a system of equations, and we have several options for how to solve that. The first equation says the first voyage was 30, 43 days longer than the second vo voyage. So let's call them A equals first, B equals second, and the first equation says that A is B plus 43, because the first one is longer by 43 days than the second one. The second equation says that the two voyages combined left a total of 1,003 days. So that's A plus B equals 1,003. We have several ways of solving this and I'll go over a few of them. This is a calculator question, so one of my favorite methods is to rewrite A minus B equals 43. This system can be written in matrix form with the coefficients 1A, 1B, 1003, 1A, negative 1B, 43. As a matrix where the variables are in the same order, both on the left-hand side, and then equals the constants that are by themselves on the right. If I ask the calculator for reduced row echelon form, my calculator will say 1, 0, 5, 23, 0, 1, 480. And this matrix is equivalent, if I rewrite this as a system, where this is 1 times A plus 0 times B equals 523. Basically, I'm doing what I did to go from this system to a matrix, I'm undoing that to go from the matrix back to a system. This is 0A plus 1B, which is just B, equals 480. And their question was, how many days did the second voyage last? And reduced row echelon form just told me it was 480. Alternatively, This is solved for A. I'm looking for B. I can substitute in B plus 43 plus B, where this B plus 43 is an expression equal to A, equals 1,003. Subtract 43 from both sides, and that gives me 2B equals 960 or B equals 480, if I divide both sides by 2. Alternatively, I can solve both of these for B, graph them, and find the intersection. So the first one becomes B equals A minus 43 if I subtract, a, if I subtract 43 from both sides. The second one becomes B equals 1,003 minus A. Actually, I probably should have solved them for A, but this works too. If I graph them, the x-coordinate where the intersect will be A, the y-coordinate will be B, and that answers the question. Or just A equals B plus 43, and A equals 1,003 minus B. Graph this with A is Y, B is X and the x value at the intersection is now the length of the second voyage. And we still have other options. There are a lot of options for solving systems of equations. Let's do one more. a minus b equals 43 and a plus b equals 1003. I can add these two equations to each other, so a plus a is 2a, negative b plus b is 0, equals 1, 0, 4, 6. So a is half that is 523. Substitute that in to my first equation, 523 equals b plus 43. Subtract 43 from both sides, and I get b equals 480. You have a number of options to solve a system of equations particularly with the calculator, once you have the system written, 
There are a lot of options. My favorite for the calculator section is to use matrices, although this particular system, there are a number of methods that work. Make sure you're good with systems of equations because there will be six of these problems on the SAT. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.